Welcoming Teresa to the Hall of Fame are a couple of coaches from Pennsylvania with great credentials, Kathy Rush and C. Vivian Stringer, and the new sandwich connoisseur, Sir Charles Barkley. <laughs> Let's hear it for Teresa Shank, Grinch. Good evening, and wow, I am beyond humbled to be standing on this stage before you and praise God for ever the blessings in my life. Congratulations to my 2022 classmates. I have loved being with each of you. It's been a great time. Going into the hall with my college teammate, Marianne Crawford, Stan Marianne Crawford Stanley, is surreal. There are only two other teammates who have gone into the hall on the same night. A gentleman named Wooden and his Purdue teammate, Charles Murphy. We are in some good company there. A thank you to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and the selection committee for considering my contributions worthy of this honor. I am still overwhelmed, but extremely grateful. Thank you. This year is the 50th anniversary of Title IX, and my presenters all have a common theme of promoting opportunities, equality, and advancement for girls and women. Kathy Rush, who is our ahead of her time coach, who directed us to three improbable national championships, our summer basketball camps were a proving ground for so many young women. Thank you, Coach. We love you. C. Vivian Stringer is a colleague and longtime friend who shares the same drive of providing opportunity, equality for young girls and women in sports, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you. I have been asked, Charles, why Charles? It's simple. It's simple. He is a Philly guy, a 76er, and a longtime friend from the many Nike trips. And this was when Charles had a good golf swing. Um, <laughs> but I love his TV work, especially his commercials. And it resonated with me. In his commercial, where the young kids are all on the outside basketball court, and a young girl, a young girl is the one selecting the team. Now that is progress. <laughs> Celebrating 50 years of Title IX. Thank you, Charles. <laughs> Basketball is the game that I love. I had found my passion. Yet for all my obsessions to play this game, society was not quite ready to extend their blessing on my choice. I was a girl and well, you know that story. The lesson learned is to succeed, you sometimes must lend a deaf ear to your critics, but always stay your course. Things will change. For me, it was Title IX. And when things do change, you must be ready to meet the challenges of the day. Don't ever sell yourself short. There will always be obstacles in your path. You just need to follow your dreams, and never allow those impediments to become stumbling blocks. Rather, make those stepping stones to reach your goals. Find it. No one gets here alone, and it's impossible to properly thank everyone who has made this journey conceivable. But please know, even though I cannot mention you all by name, how generally indebted I am to you. 
To my, to my, oh wait, 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 I got it. This teleprompter's killing me. <laughs> Much love to my siblings, my sister Donna, my brothers Chuck and Anthony, Tony, and my brother Michael, who resides in heaven these days. I love you all, and I know you're watching. My faith has always been a major part of my life, and my parents, John and Christina Shank, are my foundation. My sun and my moon, don't quit, find a way. These were the golden words of advice that they shared with me. They believed in me. They are my heroes. They taught me how to handle difficult situations and to get back up and to finish the job. Dad, I love and miss you. And my mom, Chris Shank, at 92 years of age, is here tonight with us I love you, Mom. We made it. A big thank you to my high school coach, Mary Ann Nespoli, for all your love and for sharing your favorite poem, O God of Players. It has stayed with me throughout the years. To St. Joseph's University, Rutgers University, the University of Illinois, and their administrators, and all the wonderful players I had the privilege to be their coach. Thank you. I, am, I love you all, and I remember you every single day in my prayers. You are the best. I would like to acknowledge my Rutgers 1982 National Championship team and some of the players who are here tonight. Chris Daly, Mary Coyle Klinger, and Patty Coyle are here. To a future Hall of Famer, Sue Wicks, and our captain, Kristen Foley. Much, go ahead. Much love to my 1997 Illinois Big Ten Championship team. That was an awesome run and so much fun. And la ladies, I absolutely love you. Thank you. To the most important people to me in my professional life, my staff and my assistant coaches, Again, I am so appreciative to you and for keeping me on track. Thank you. I can't, no, we'll go. I can't even find the words to express my gratitude to you, Kathleen Shank. You have been a godsend to me. You have done so much for me. You are a consummate professional and the truest and most loyal of friends. I love you, Clean. Thank you. If there was one quote to describe what I did at Immaculata, it would be, the difficult we do immediately and the impossible will take us a little longer. Special love to my college teammates. I know Dr. Marie Liguori is here tonight. And to all the talented and magnificent women, the IHM sisters who guided me during those years and throughout my career. Kudos to the newest member of that club, Patricia McAdams. I know you have a front row seat tonight, Patricia, Patricia in heaven tonight. Thank you. A note of gratitude to my lifelong friend and co-captain, Denise Conway Crawford, who is here tonight. And Denise, we will party. And finally, to my godson and nephew, Brian Shank, you are remarkable. I am totally in your debt for all you have done for me and getting ready for this night. You are so talented and kind, and I love you, bees. Thank you. <laughs> to my sons, Carl and Kevin, you guys light up my life. Your childhood was filled with gyms, lots of gyms, churches, hotels, buses, and, air and, air and airplanes. When we needed balance in our life, we enjoyed my self-proclaimed mother's holidays. We both, you both, are my greatest accomplishments. I'm so proud of you. Thank you both. My four grands are here with my beautiful daughter-in-law, Kelly, Emily, Jack, Luke, and Liam. And I can't tell you how happy I am that you're here tonight. They're six and a half, five, three, and new. <laughs> Always remember, GMA loves you, and don't you think for even one second I'm letting any of you beat me in a game of knockout. 
You're going to have to earn it. Before I leave the podium tonight, there is one more person. A true test of character is how you celebrate the victories and endure the losses in this journey. And believe me when I tell you, both are better when you face them with someone you love. My someone I grew up with and have known since the eighth grade. He has been with me every step of the way. He was one of the neighborhood guys I played pickup with through my high school years, dated in college, fell in love with and married, and now onto the Hall of Fame. He is my best friend, the love of my life, my husband of 48 years, Carl Krentz. Thank you, Bears, I love you. I got through that part. And to the best basketball club on the planet, to be a member of this one. Thank you, and God bless you.